The Metro Rail Transit Line 7, MRT 7, stands as one of the Philippines' most ambitious and transformative railway infrastructure projects, designed to redefine public transportation across Metro Manila and Bulacan. Stretching approximately 22.8 kilometers, the MRT 7 line connects North Avenue in Quezon City to San Jose del Monte in Bulacan, covering 14 strategically located stations that serve as gateways to business districts, government institutions, residential areas, and educational hubs. When completed, it will not only revolutionize daily commuting but also play a vital role in easing one of Southeast Asia's most persistent urban challenges, traffic congestion. The project is being spearheaded by San Miguel Corporation SMC, through its subsidiary Universal LRT Corporation ULC, under the government's Build Better More infrastructure initiative. The Hyundai Rotom Company of South Korea was chosen as the train manufacturer, ensuring a world-class design and advanced technology that meets international standards of safety, efficiency, and comfort. Construction officially began in April 2016, and by 2025, more than 75% of the project had already been completed. Full operation is expected to commence in 2026, marking a new era of connectivity for the Filipino people. Dash dash dash. Globe a vision of progress and connectivity. The MRT7 has been envisioned as more than just a railway, it's a symbol of progress, innovation, and national pride. Designed to accommodate around 300,000 to 850,000 passengers daily, the system will drastically cut travel time from Quezon City to Bulacan from nearly two hours down to just 35 minutes. This reduction in travel time will not only ease stress for daily commuters but will also open up new economic opportunities for businesses and residents along the route. This railway line is designed to interconnect with other major rail networks in Metro Manila. It will link directly with MRT3 at North Avenue and the upcoming LRT1 Cavite extension through the unified Grand Central Station, forming a massive integrated rail network that stretches across multiple cities and provinces. In the future, it is also expected to connect with the Mega Manila subway, ensuring seamless transfers across the most vital transportation corridors in the region. Dash dash dash. High-speed train design, engineering, and technology. Each MRT-7 train is composed of six cars, fully air-conditioned, spacious, and designed for comfort and safety. The trains feature automatic train control systems, modern signaling technology, and energy-efficient propulsion units. The exteriors maintain a clean silver finish accented with blue and yellow lines, symbolizing modernity and the national colors of the Philippines. The aerodynamic front design ensures reduced air resistance, while large panoramic windows give passengers a comfortable and scenic view of the city. Inside the trains, the design emphasizes ergonomics, accessibility, and passenger convenience. Wide doors allow easy boarding, while designated areas for senior citizens, persons with disabilities, and pregnant women make the train inclusive for all. The interiors are illuminated with bright, energy-saving LED lights and equipped with digital information screens that display real-time updates, route maps, and safety announcements. Dash dash dash. Building construction the assembly and manufacturing process. The MRT-7 trains are being manufactured by Hyundai Rotom in South Korea, with final assembly and testing done in the Philippines. The assembly process involves a series of precise engineering stages, starting from the chassis and body frame construction, which is done using high-strength lightweight steel, followed by the integration of the electrical, mechanical, and safety systems. Skilled engineers and technicians ensure every part meets strict international standards before shipment. In the factory assembly stage, the trains are built on large assembly lines equipped with robotic welding arms and advanced fabrication tools. The process begins with the lower chassis and moves upward, with each section carefully aligned and checked for balance, durability, and aerodynamics. The bogies, which house the wheels, axles, and braking systems, were installed next, followed by the traction motors and electrical control panels. Once the structural and mechanical components are complete, the body is painted in its signature silver with blue and yellow streaks, a color scheme chosen to represent progress, reliability, and the national identity of the Philippines. After painting, the interior mechanical systems are installed. These include the air conditioning units, lighting systems, safety alarms, communication modules, and driver control consoles. 
Each cabin undergoes rigorous quality testing, vibration checks, and heat resistance tests to ensure safety under tropical conditions. Finally, the train units are shipped to the Philippines for on-site integration, track alignment, and dynamic testing. Dash, dash, dash. Factory Luxury Showroom Presentation In select international and local exhibitions, mock-ups of the MRT-7 have been displayed in luxury white English-style showrooms. These showrooms, designed with polished marble floors, white pillars, glass ceilings, and ambient lighting, serve as elegant stages for showcasing the train's engineering excellence. The silver body of the MRT-7 reflects light beautifully against the white background, creating a luxurious aesthetic that symbolizes progress and sophistication. Visitors, engineers, and officials attending these ceremonies often include local dignitaries, transport executives, and foreign delegates, celebrating the milestone as a national achievement. Within these showroom setups, each view of the MRT-7 train is meticulously captured. Front view highlights the aerodynamic nose design with glowing LED headlights and sleek curves. Side view showcases the elegant windows and passenger doors aligned perfectly for accessibility. Back view displays the engine section and rear lighting system, emphasizing precision engineering. Top view reveals the roof ventilation, pantograph, and energy systems. Engine close-up provides a detailed look into the powerful mechanical heart of the train. Interior mechanical exposure demonstrates the intricate balance of technology, including traction motors, suspension systems, and wiring networks. These luxury presentations are not just exhibitions, they symbolize a vision of how the Philippines is stepping into a new era of sustainable and intelligent transportation. Dash, dash, dash. Gear interior mechanical components and systems. Beneath the elegant passenger experience lies a network of advanced technology. The MRT-7's interior mechanical components include traction motors, regenerative braking systems, and advanced power converters that allow efficient energy use. The braking system converts kinetic energy back into electricity, feeding it into the grid, helping reduce power waste. The suspension system provides stability and comfort even at speeds of up to 80 km per hour. Additionally, the Communication-Based Train Control CBTC, system ensures automatic speed regulation, reducing human error and increasing passenger safety. The train's driver cabin or engine control room is a masterpiece of modern transport engineering. Fitted with multiple LCD panels, emergency override systems, and ergonomic seats, it allows operators to monitor every aspect of train performance, from power output to passenger door functions. The cabin's visibility is enhanced by panoramic glass and anti-glare panels, offering both comfort and safety to the driver. Dash, dash, dash. City at dusk economic and social impact. Once operational, MRT-7 will significantly transform the urban mobility landscape of Metro Manila. It is expected to reduce private car dependency and lower vehicle emissions, contributing to a cleaner environment. The project will also spur economic growth in surrounding areas, particularly in San Jose del Monte, which will soon become a major transport hub linking the north to the heart of the capital. Real estate values along the route are already rising, and businesses, especially in Quezon City, Fairview, and Bulacan, are preparing for an influx of new opportunities. With reduced travel times, more people will be able to live farther from the congested city center while maintaining access to jobs, schools, and services. The construction of MRT-7 has also created thousands of local jobs for engineers, construction workers, safety officers, and administrative staff. The multiplier effect of this development is immense, as it enhances productivity and fuels economic momentum. Dash, dash, dash. Globe the symbol of a modern Philippines. The MRT-7 is more than a railway, it's a symbol of hope, unity, and national progress. It represents the government's commitment to improving the quality of life for Filipinos through sustainable infrastructure. With each completed section, the line brings the country one step closer to achieving a connected, efficient, and environmentally responsible transport network. When passengers board the MRT-7 in the coming years, they won't just be stepping into a train, they'll be stepping into the future of Philippine transportation, powered by technology, designed with elegance, and built on the dreams of millions who envision a better tomorrow.